Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are really curious about is, of course, the first set of footage of Episode 9 in the form of a teaser trailer. Now, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are changing up their marketing format and their style for this movie in order to really sell this movie off as the final and installment of the Skywalker saga. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with various shot descriptions including for the teaser trailer. Specifically shot descriptions consisting of Rey sprinting across a battlefield with an ignited blue lightsaber with dozens of resistance fighters running behind her toward a tall structure with a first order flag. The next goes over a close-up of Kylo Ren's face putting on his reforged helmet. It's described that there is a brief pause that leads to Kylo igniting the saber, causing a red glow on the reforged helmet that has red lines running down it. Another goes over a glimpse of the major space battle with dozens of A-wings, X-wings, E-wings, and Y-wings fighting storms of TIE fighters and new forms of TIE interceptors. The next goes over sequences of the Knights of Ren marching with Kylo Ren in the front of with his saber ignited and pointing towards something or somebody. Lastly, a shot of Rey entering a cave full of glowing blue crystals and white orbs flying around. It's like something out of Avatar as far as the visuals go. So I want to go over a couple of the shot descriptions for the teaser trailer of Star Wars Episode 9 that's really piquing my interest for this movie. And like I say guys, when it comes to this film, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are looking at it as a course correction technique not just because of the box office results from Solo, but also because of the backlash from The Last Jedi. Now looking at everything here, the first thing that I do want to go over is Rey sprinting across this battlefield with tons of resistance fighters running behind her, basically providing her backup toward this tall structure that has a First Order flag on it. Now, I believe that this most definitely lines directly up with what we heard a couple of days ago about the battlefield sequence in which we do have members of the Resistance and the First Order and First Order vehicles fighting each other on this large battlefield that's going to be inspired by the Normandy Beach from World War II. I don't know if you guys are very well familiar with that, but it is going to be inspired by that actual set, by the actual part in history that will be set for Star Wars Episode 9. Now, the next thing that I do want to go over is the close up of Kylo Ren's face putting on the reforged Kylo Ren helmet. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but his helmet is coming back in Episode 9. It's honestly going to be something different, though. It's going to be the same exact design, however, it's going to have red lines going through it, this red crystalline adhesive, in order to provide a brand new look to the character of Kylo Ren in a more evil way. And that's yet another way that J.J. Abrams is going to make Kylo Ren a more evil character than Darth Vader ever was. In the original trilogy, this new helmet design is actually said to emulate veins running down the actual helmet, showing us that he's very conflicted and very much in tune with the dark side of the Force. So moving on, the next thing that I do want to go over is the major space battle sequence that is in fact going to in include Y-Wings, E-Wings, uh, of course A-Wings as well, and X-Wings. So all of the different ship designs going up against TIE fighters and new forms of TIE interceptors. Now this most likely is going to be the final space battle in Episode 9, since it is said to be very chaotic fast-paced and very much like what we saw in the prequels and in the originals and that's something that has not been in the actual sequel trilogy as of yet. I think that a lot of fans including myself have been asking for a proper space battle sequence in the actual sequel trilogy and that's one thing that J.J. Abrams is really going to deliver in episode 9 and something that I cannot wait to see on the big screen. Now, the next thing that I do want to go over is, of course, the sequences of the Knights of Ren marching with Kylo Ren, where he's actually placed in the front of them, holding his actual lightsaber ignited and pointing toward something or somebody. So he's pointing his saber in a similar way to when he was pointing it at the, the Force version of Luke Skywalker, or should I say the Force projection, if you will. 
He's pointing it like that. Kylo Ren does have a lot of signature moves that he does, a lot of signature stances in the sequel trilogy that a lot of fans are familiar with, and that will actually be present in Episode 9 as well. Now, lastly, what I want to go over is the sequence in which Rey enters a cave full of glowing blue crystals and white flying orbs around her. Now, this sounds like it could very well be the entrance to the Lost City, or maybe even the entrance to that Jedi Temple that we have been hearing about, where she will meet up with Jedi Master Luke Skywalker in the form of a Force Ghost. So there's a lot going on for this movie, and specifically for this cave sequence, the visuals are described as being similar to that of Avatar and that does speak volumes for a Star Wars movie after all. You know, if you look at Avatar, you know, they're trying to implement some visual cues in there to Episode 9, which I honestly think is somewhat ambitious, but I'm not quite sure if it'll really mix well. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.